Hey everybody, so this is going to be a quick video demonstration of the data box. So let's start by getting it booted up. Now we'll wait for this to boot up. I just want to quickly show some of the features that it has. So right here is your battery indicator. So this shows in increments of 25% what your battery status is. And up here is your USB-C port. Now this port can be used to charge other devices and of course charge the internal battery. Um, this USB-C port can power things at a full 18 watts and also charge the internal battery at that speed. And the battery in this is 30,000 milliamp hours, so perfect for charging your phone multiple times over and powering this device for a full entire 18 hours straight off just one single charge. So let's quickly just scroll through all the resources here that are available. and uh, pause the video if needed to read the descriptions. And here I'm just using the keyboard to scroll through all of them. So for the first demonstration, let's just demonstrate Wikipedia. So see, we could just open up Wikipedia like that. Uh, we could pick a topic or search for one. So let's search for what the definition of car is. So over here, here is the article about cars. And of course we can scroll through this article just like you'd be able to on the internet. And let's say find, well, what's the article on horseless carriage? So I'm just gonna tap on that. Here's the whole article about it. And of course you could just tap on names like you normally would pulls up uh, different inventors or whoever you may be searching for and presents an article just like you would see if you just searched it on the internet. Now over here, let's try a video. So the Apocalypse Survival Guide. And we'll just demonstrate this video right here. Now we'll just scroll down, click play. And right here, we could tap on this icon here to make it full screen. As you can see, there is some distortion, but that's due to the fact that the video is highly compressed to get roughly about 100 videos to fit onto this device. Now to adjust volume, it can be adjusted right here. And this is the volume at max volume. So this is what you can expect. And I'll talk a little bit about how I'm able to do what I'm now let's exit out of here and let's scroll down to Project Gutenberg. So this is a resource that has, as you can see, 60,000 free eBooks that you can just open and read, all just available here. So let's just try out The Great Gatsby. So we tap on that, there we go. We have the entire Great Gatsby. And of course, if there's any specific book that you're looking for, you could just search it right up here in the search bar. I'm just gonna exit out of here. And so that's just been a quick demonstration of what the data box can do. Um, let's now shut it down. So the proper way to shut this down is clicking this red button here. Now, once the red light turns off, I usually like to wait about five seconds to make sure it's fully powered off and click this button to remove power. And then it can be shut and put away for long-term storage or uh, whenever it's needed again. So if you lock these latches just like this, this makes it now waterproof down to three feet for half an hour. And that is the IP67 rating, what it says, but I think it would be even possible for it to surpass that uh, if it ever was submerged for a longer period uh, than just half an hour. So that's been a quick demonstration of the data box. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video and uh, consider buying it right here on Etsy.